I had this accident in life. For me, art and archaeology has lost its boundaries. I was trained as an artist, but was working as an archaeologist for the past 30 years. Archaeology is such a beautiful discipline. In our part of the world, it's also racist, subservient to contemporary nationalist politics, but that's not a problem of archaeology, it's a problem of archaeologists. When the colonialists came to Sri Lanka in the 17th, 18th centuries, they begin to learn the past of these places. The past does not live in the past, it lives in front of us. But then who owns that past? That's where archaeology and history becomes a very political program. If you can own the definition and interpretation management of the past, then you are the powerful person. Once these countries became independent, we continued describing the past from the colonial point of view. Nation states cannot think without borders. When I'm at a border, I give rise to the other. That border enacts in its own way, without your approval or acknowledgement. It could be very violent. What happens to the individual when caught by organized regimes of violence? The individual is totally at loss. You see, I know the pain. It's not just a conceptual thing in my head. It's an embodied thing, this suffering. You actually get fragmented, and that never leaves you. We are caught in a floating system of generalizations and commands, of which we are part of, whether we like it or not.